hello students and welcome back so now we are going to talk about a very important technique called module instantiation so in this video we are going to talk about that what is this module instantiation we are going to talk about different methods for instantiating the module and we'll also talk about the precautions that need to be taken while performing this task so let us get started so in verilog when we have complex systems we had discussed that we will take top down or bottom up approach and we will divide our larger complex system into smaller subsystems and we will design the smaller system first and then we will attach them into the complex system so what we are going to do we will design these simple subsystems and then we will call them as a function in the top module in other programming language we call it function calling i define one function and i want to use this function inside my main program or any other function so this is exactly what we are doing in module instantiation we use the parent module and the instances that means the calling of the lower module and we connect all of them together so what are the methods that we have for module instantiation there are two approaches the first one is port connection by the ordered list and second is connections by name let us talk about both of these one by one so when we talk about the first approach that is port connection by ordered list then we basically rely on the order of ports mentioned in the lower end module we will use this order as it is in the parent module so we must know the exact order that where was input 1 where was input 2 where was output 1 at what location in what order they were listed this approach can be very inconvenient very confusing if we have large number of ports or sometime later if we add another port in the lower module so this approach can create problem in that case so let us have a look at one such example here i have a larger block there are three ports in one in two in three and two outputs out one and out two so here we are using two sub systems sub one and sub two how do we instantiate so i am writing two instantiation one for sub one one for sub two let us understand how we have done this so sub one is having four ports a b c and d a is connected to in one b is connected to in two c is connected to out one and d is connected to a signal called s1 now i must know that what was the order when i declared sub1 in that let us assume the order was a b c d so here when i instantiate this port my order will be a b c and d so a is connected to in1 b is connected to in2 c is connected to out1 and d is connected to s1 we don't have to mention a b c d we have to only mention the ports for my parent module so in1 in2 out1 s1 and similarly the order of ports for sub2 is p q r so i am going to write 
एस वन इन थ्री एंड आउट टू एस वन इन थ्री एंड आउट टू दैट्स ऑल वी विल नॉट राइट एनी थिंग एल्स इन द इंस्टेंशिएशन वेरी सिंपल वेरी इफेक्टिव वे ऑफ मोड्यूल इंस्टेंशिएशन सो नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड मेथड एंड दैट इज पोर्ट कनेक्शन बाय नेम सो दिस इज ए slightly better way where we don't have to remember the order but we will just remember or we will look at the names of the port and we will mention a of this will go to b of this or in one of this will go to q of this so here we are going to use a dot symbol for this mapping and we are also going to use brackets so we will start with dot write one variable name then inside the brackets we will write the other port name how to do it let us have another example for the same so here we have the same circuit same three inputs and two outputs and here i have written the instantiation now let us understand what we have done in this case so here we say dot a that means this is the name of my sub module port and where is it going it is going to in one so a is going to in one b is going to in two c is going to out one and d is going to s one in this approach we are separating them with commas and you can mention any order you can mention a c b d as well but only thing you have to take care that when you write dot d please mention the correct port of your parent module similarly when i go to sub 2 then dot p s1 dot q in 3 and dot r out 2 so this is what we have written dot p with s1 dot q with in 3 and dot r with out 2 this is more logical more easy slightly lengthy to write in the statement but it will be crystal clear that what are we assigning and how are we assigning now when we do module instantiation it can happen that some of the ports are not connected ideally it is highly recommended that we must connect each and every port but sometime it may not be possible so in that case what will happen to these unconnected ports well the simulator will assign a high value that means z we had discussed that there are four values so it will assign z to all such unconnected ports so students now we know that how can we perform module instantiation let us test it by making a full adder using half adders we'll do that in our next video keep learning thank you